Welcome back to the Pirate Ship Playhouse. We have made our shape, our hull, our deck up there. We've got our cabin, and now we're going to make some portholes. Portholes are one of the trickier parts, and so please try not to get frustrated. Come over and select uh, under the rectangle tool, that's what yours should look like, and select circle. Come to the face here and click and we're gonna make a circle six inch radius. So one foot in diameter. Come and select the arrow, double click on the inside, right click, or you can hold alt and click on a Chromebook if you don't have a mouse, or you can touch the trackpad with two fingers and you should get a box like this. Click on make component, we're gonna make some portholes, glue to any, cut the opening, hit okay. Now we need to move and we're gonna copy this. So press the control key before you click to move. Now you need to be careful here because if it locks on the red axis or any axis, then it's not gonna go out where you want it to. So let's click there. Let's copy another one, press the option key again, bring it over here. See how it says on face, that's what I want. Option, move it over, pick equidistant, and let's put one halfway in the middle. There we go. Now, a neat trick on this is that if we edit, because we've made these a component, if we edit any one of these components, it's gonna edit all of them. So to select, to edit a component, you need to select it first. So let's use the arrow and we're gonna double click on one of the components and you can see the screen kind of goes like different. You wonder if you're in the right world, what's going on? And we are going to edit one of these and you'll see that they all move for us. So as we make these portholes, let's use the offset tool under the push pull and we'll offset this one inch. Look at, see them all change. Let's switch to push pull and we're gonna go to the outside and we're gonna pull this out two inches. Now this, this is fairly handy, right? If you make a component or if you have many parts that are the same on something, you can, the first thing that you make, you just make the outline of it. You make it a component, right? And I've moved it to all these spots. And now as I edit it and make it more detailed, it changes it on every single one. Let's go to this paint bucket and we're gonna color this in. You can see on the right side, things have come up for me. Let's go to the search here, this browse, and there's all manner of things that we can select. Let's select a wood and you pick a nice wood and let us edit the one that we're editing. There we go. Don't forget the inside and they've all changed for me. Now we're putting in some glass. Pick the glass you'd like. And if you can pick any wood you'd like, you can pick any glass you'd like. And there we go. We have now finished the portholes. Do your select, select off of there. And now we will come up and save our assignment. Saved. All right, we'll move on to the next step. Thanks for battling through. If you have questions about the portholes, they're not easy. Make sure you ask.